Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is January 1st, so Happy New Year. Uh, and today I want to talk about my 2022 goals. <laughs> so I do have some Yarny goals this year, plus a bunch of other goals for family stuff and all that. So I'm going to go over my Yarny ones um, so that I can relook at this video the end of this year and see if I accomplished them. <laughs> so let's hop in here. I look a little crazy this morning. I'm tired. <laughs> I am eight months pregnant and I'm just over it. I'm ready to uh, have this baby. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, let's just hop into it. So, so most of these um, goals are the same ones from last year because I just want to keep doing the same things I've been doing. <laughs> but uh, yes, I have one, two, three, four, five crochet related goals. Um, and then I have a, f a few projects that I'd like to make this year, but I don't know if I'll ever get around to making them. But my first goal, my yarny goal, first one is, to use stash yarn, which I did really good in 2021. So I think I can do really good in 2022 as well. I have a ton of yarn on hand. I rarely need to buy any for projects unless I'm making like an afghan, uh, which I'm gonna kind of stay away from for a while because I just finished two afghans and um, I don't really wanna have to work on afghan right now. But I do. I am planning on making a um, another scrap one, but again, I have tons of scraps, so I won't have to get any yarn for that. I already have it on hand. But like I'm looking back, back here in, in our bedroom, I have two shelves of yarn. In our living room, I have two, a shelf of yarn. And plus I have two big bags of yarn underneath Jesse's bed. <laughs> that are just, I only, I go in there and dig them out because there's like specific yarns. So I know that they're in there. So I got plenty of yarn. I, um, I need to work through it. <laughs> and I also want to not, try not to buy any yarn. Um, unless I absolutely need it for something. So. Or it's on like a super good deal. Like it's a good enough deal that I can't pass it up. Like when the Hobby Lobby clearance rolls around in spring, I'll probably be getting some yarn then. But uh, it's like 75% off. So of course I'm gonna be grabbing some. So that's my first goal. All right, my second goal is to do scrap ball projects because I like using up my scrap balls because they accumulate fast when you make amigurumis. Um, and I have, m the majority of my yarn is solid color yarns because I make mostly amigurumis. And um, like, decoration-y type things. It takes just a little bit of certain colors. So uh, my scrap balls are constantly, I like, I deplete them and then they fill back up. <laughs> it's just like regenerating constantly. So I want to work on a scrap gan, which I'm planning on starting soon. I was wanting to make a ripple one because I thought that would look cool in scraps because normally I make like a granny or just a solid double crochet. Um, so I want to make like a ripple one. <laughs> I'm going to be starting that soon. I, I haven't decided if I want to hold two colors together or just do one color. I like the way the two colors together look because Angelia from Crocheting House Mouse was is working on one and it looks so cool with the two colors mixed together. But it would also be really thick. So I don't know. I just have to wait till the day I'm about to start it and then I'll figure it out then. <laughs> but I want to try to use up my scrap balls to keep them from overflowing in the tote. They're currently in I think a 30 gallon tote, that small size tote, like at Walmart, you know. <laughs> I think it's a 30 gallon. Um, and it's getting full again. Like I said, the lid is like kind of bubbled up. So I need to get in there and use up those yarns. <laughs> uh, I like the way Angelia did it also. She had her husband pick out yarns. So I might have Devin and Jesse help me pick out combination yarns to use. That'd be fun. Okay, my third goal for 2022 is enter the fair. Now this year I did not put a number of projects. Normally I try to like, you know, say, oh, 20 projects, oh, 30 projects. But this year, since I'm gonna have a newborn <laughs> and I'm gonna be adjusting to, um, having a baby and a five and a half year old, almost six year old, he'll be six in May. So he'll be six and a half by the time our fair gets here. Uh, June will be, if she's born in February, which April, May, June, July, August, she'll be around seven months at the fair, like six months, a little over six months. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do a ton of projects. Cause I did do a lot of projects the year Jesse was a baby, but Jesse was the only kid I had. And I also looked at my sister who helped me a lot. Um, this year we're living in our own place. I'm going to have an established child that I have to take care of, plus a new baby to take care of. Uh, plus, you know, all my other responsibilities of no kitchen name stuff, plus like, you know, house stuff and keeping everybody fed and alive. So I don't know, but I'd like to enter. I just like entering some things. I know for sure I'm going to be entering my Christmas Afghan that I just finished in December, but, uh, I'm going to line it so that the bag looks nice. And, um, I'm going to enter that as the Afghan. I've made a few baby blankets this year for June, but also just extra baby blankets. I love whipping out baby blankets. It's fun. Um, 
so that's that's two already got done <laughs> so uh I always like to make the stockings and the like the Christmas decorations the holiday decorations because I always make those anyways so I can just enter them in the fair but um and like hats and things things that pop out real fast so I'll probably get to enter a good amount unless something crazy happens but uh we'll just have to wait and see <laughs> but that is girl number three girl number four is to sew only three days a week which I did last year and it worked out really good I was still very productive in my shop I had shop updates pretty much every other week which meant I only had to sew one week, you know, a few days, one week to make an update every other week, if that makes sense. <laughs> but um, I liked it. it. It helped me to not be at the sewing machine all the time. And I still had time to do other things, you know. So I'm going to try to stick to that again this year. But again, that depends on the baby. Because <laughs> um, she might be one of those crazy babies that are fussy all the time. Who knows? And then my last crafty goal is to track my projects. I start this every year and usually by March. I quit because <laughs> I get distracted but I have a notebook I don't, it's not gonna be this one because this is my goals and like um, financial budgeting you know like all that kind of stuff book <laughs> but I do have another one in the living room that I already started tracking my projects because I knew I had I started two projects in December that I knew was gonna come over into the 2022 so I went ahead and started tracking those and um, I'm gonna try my hardest to do that because I want to be able to update you guys on the end of the 2022 like how many hats and amigurumis and uh, sweaters and stuff like that I made because I like seeing people do that and they say like oh I made five sweaters and 20 amigurumis it's fun to see that and uh, I used to be really good at doing that on Ravelry but I always forget <laughs> and I want to um, I think it was I think it's Rebecca at Yarn and Pajamas who's going to be taking pictures of her projects and putting them in her project tracker notebook I want to do that too. I have a little camera. It's actually in this drawer, but I have to dig it out. It's like a Polaroid camera that's like a newer one though, but it prints out little, it's like two by three pictures. And um, I'd like to do that. So when I finish a project, I could take a picture of it and glue it into my notebook. Cause then when I go back at the end of the year, I can visually see which sweater that was, you know? Cause a lot of things I make don't stay with me. They either get donated or given to people or sold. And, um, so it'd be nice to be able to go back and see what you made. <laughs> I have plenty of pictures on my computer of stuff I've made over the years, but I've just never printed any of them off. And it'd be cool to have like a portfolio <laughs> of stuff that you made. But that is all my yarning goals this year. There are a couple projects I want to make. There's actually one that I can think of, and I'm, this has been on my I want to make list for like five years, and it's the Grinchmas corner to corner blanket. If I can remember, I'll pop up a picture of it. I've had that downloaded forever. And I've been wanting to start it for forever, and I never start it. I'm not a big fan of corner to corner, um, and I hate working with bobbins, but it doesn't have a too many color changes, so it wouldn't be too annoying, I don't think. <laughs> but I want to make that one of these days for my living room for Christmas, because I love the Grinch and I love Christmas. Um, so maybe, maybe this year I'll make that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's all my yarny goals. I don't have any other crazy goals. That are related to like channel growth or anything because that's not really concerning to me you know i just i just want to keep on making videos that's my goal <laughs> keep making videos and try to be more consistent sometimes because like lately i've been really good at making videos because all the vlog months right in a row but sometimes i taper off <laughs> so i need to try to stay consistent making a few videos a week i already miss daily vlogging i got this morning with intentions to start vlogging again and i was like wait it's january <laughs> so um there probably still will be vlogs popping up randomly because I enjoy sharing my life and my family with you guys. Um, especially once the baby comes because it'll be fun. But um, yeah, and I'll participate in the vlog months probably. Because uh, I always do. <laughs> or I always try to. But now I also have other goals because I do that all the time. <laughs> Every year I make a huge list of uh, budget goals, personal goals, family, and this year I'm doing kids, <laughs> which some people thought that was weird, but it's, it's just things to remind me to do, um, with the kids, you know, like our budgeting ones, I'm going to keep that one private because it's, you know, personal finances, it's private. <laughs> My personal goals is really after the baby's born, so I won't be starting any of these until after she's born and I get cleared to get back into my exercise routine and all that. Because I'm high risk pregnancy, so they basically tell me not to do too much <laughs> this whole pregnancy, uh, which has been horrible for me because I, I was really loving <laughs> my exercise routine that I had going. Um, and I've, 
I've gained, I've only gained 12 pounds this pregnancy, so it's not as bad as Jesse's. Lord, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want to, uh. okay, with Jesse, because I was lazy and young and stupid and ate whatever I wanted, I gained almost 80 pounds when I was pregnant with him. I'm surprised I didn't have diabetes afterwards, um, but that's, Jesse, I always say Jesse made me fat, but really it was me that made me fat because I ate like an idiot. Anyways. So my personal goals is to get back into my exercise routine, which I miss, <laughs> and um, to get better at eating. Mine and Devin's goals is that all the time, to try to eat healthier and more home-cooked meals instead of eating out. <laughs> eating out is so easy, though. It's so much easier and less stressful, you know? And uh, one of my other ones is just to take better care of myself, and that's um, that's like a broad one. <laughs> that's like, you know, make sure to wash my face and put my lotion on, and to make sure, you know, to keep doing my fingernails because it makes me feel good. And to keep take care of my feet. <laughs> I have like the worst feet ever. I have to always like put sugar scrub and stuff on them. I want to make sure I keep doing that stuff. So that, because uh, it makes me feel better. But sometimes you got to remind yourself to do stuff for yourself. <laughs> and then our family goals, we were usually working on them together. And so our family goals for 2022 is pretty much the same as every year. <laughs> but it's to have family outings, which is like family dates. When we go out to like the zoo and the aquarium and stuff like that. Uh, date nights is very important for me and Devin. We always try to squeeze in date nights uh, when we can because it's important for your marriage. Um, this new, this is a new one, is Jesse only dates. I want to well, make sure, especially when June is fresh, <laughs> um, to make sure that we give special attention to, Je to just Jesse on some days to where we can take him. Like we have a pizza place that has an arcade in it. We can take him there and um, just spend time one-on-one -on -one with him so that he doesn't get jealous feelings or um like we're paying more attention to the baby which obviously you know babies need more attention than six-year-olds <laughs> but uh, i don't want him to feel left out if that makes any sense but we're going to make sure to make special jesse only dates um throughout the year for uh so he can feel special <laughs> and then because uh, i have a whole line of babysitters waiting for this baby to come out so I and we won't be in any trouble finding a babysitter <laughs> okay and um, the last family goal is to be active together. We made this one first in 2020, uh, and it was a lot of fun. That's when we started. We got bicycles, and we started riding bikes together, and we started going on hikes and stuff more together and all that. We've always done that, but um, we did a lot of it in 2020 because, you know, everything was closed, and pretty much the only options was parks and stuff. So uh, we did a lot of that in 2020, and I enjoyed it, and I want to make sure we start that back up once I'm physically able to. Um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll have her probably wearing her because I have a baby wrap. I gotta figure out how to use that thing because <laughs> it's, it's like an actual wrap one. The one we have with Jesse was like one of those strap-on ones. <clears throat> so we gotta figure that thing out. And because um, you know, like if we go on a hike, I can carry her, and Devin and Jesse can kind of go ahead of us and explore <laughs> the way Jesse does. You know, finding sticks and rocks and things. But um, family goals are very important to us because. I don't know if you've noticed, but we're a very close family. We always try to make everything about family because at the end of the day, that's what you got, you know, who's your family. Um, so we want to make sure that we stay close to each other forever and hopefully not drift apart. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's my family goals. And the kids' goals, I only have two written down. Um, I might make more later. But one is I want to limit toys. I, I say that every year and I, I fail every year. <laughs> Because Jesse always has so many toys. I just got rid of a whole bunch, I don't know, <laughs> right after Christmas. Uh, and I'm cutting the kid off of Legos. He's not allowed to get any more Legos for a while because we have thousands of Legos. <laughs> they are everywhere. But, um, yeah, I got rid of a lot of his toys because, you know, I, I'm with him all the time. I know what he plays with. So when he was at his grandma's, I went through all his toys and um, donated a big box of toys he never plays with. So he, I have cut his toys down, and with June, I want to try to not buy her a bunch of toys in the first place. But really, the issue is like the grandparents. Um, that's one reason Jesse has so many toys is because grandparents and uncles and aunts buy him so much stuff for like birthdays and things. But because uh, we we prefer experiences, I wish like people would buy us zoo memberships <laughs> instead of expensive toys because we would get way more use out of a zoo membership than a toy that he plays with for a while and then loses interest in. So that's, that's what we do when, like, when it's his birthday and stuff, we go to the zoo or the aquarium or we go to one of those kid museums with all kinds of cool stuff in it to play with. <laughs> or we go to Gatlinburg and do all this stuff. <laughs> but, um, and the second kid goal is I just wrote down outdoor time because I want to make sure to get them outside, getting some natural vitamins <laughs> and, uh, planting in dirt and, you know, 
being kids. <laughs> I don't want them to be the kind of kids that sit in front of a TV all the time, which is nothing wrong with, but I want, I want their childhood to be similar to mine, except it won't be the same because I grew up on a farm with like acreage to explore. I mean, my brother was out in the woods all the time finding turtles and things. Uh, but I'd like to get as close to that as possible. <laughs> so that's why we encourage Jesse to go outside all the time and we take him to parks and things so he can play in creeks and uh, get dirty and get hurt every now and then and stuff, you know, because you just you gotta do that as a kid. <laughs> so that's my goals. And I love space, so there's room for more goals. I didn't I didn't do as good up here. I should have moved it down a little bit. <laughs> but that's okay. And then on this next page is more, or it's my Christmas 22 goals. <laughs> um, we plan for Christmas every year because it comes every year. And sometimes we plan, we, we think we're doing good, we plan ahead, but then we, we wish we had done more. So this year we're doing more. <laughs> we're, we pretty much doubled our savings goal for Christmas this year. And uh, I already wrote down the things that we need, we're for sure going to need cash for for Christmas. And then I also wrote down things we want to buy. <laughs> like I put Advent uh, countdowns for all three of us, because June will be baby. <laughs> but, and then stocking stuffers for all of us, June and Jesse. Mom and Dad. <laughs> and then I wrote Santa gifts so that I can remember to buy something for both kids from Santa. And um, and then this next page is just uh, budget goals. Some stupid medical bills. Oh. <laughs> that's going to get a lot bigger once baby comes. <laughs> but uh, that's all right. We'll deal with it when it comes. But yeah, so that's like a blabbingness of my goals. It's yarny goals plus some family goals and stuff. Because I like including you guys. You're kind of like family. You're like distant, you know, relatives. It's cool. Put my little thing on there. So that's my... I've had this notebook for a while. I bought it on clearance at Joann's. Yes. <laughs> the real fancy Joann's I went to in Knoxville. It was... This is the nicest Joann's I've ever been. And it was huge. And the yarn was like beautifully organized. And they had so much yarn. <laughs> it was like the, the most amazing Joann's I've ever been in. I want to definitely go back there. Anyways, <laughs> I guess I hear blah all day. And I'm not vlogging anymore, so uh, I'm going to miss talking to you guys. But like I said, random vlogs will pop up every now and then because I like sharing my life with you guys. And now I'm going to film a video. I'm wearing the same shirt. I don't know if you'll even see me, though. But I'm going to film a video. People, I've had a lot of people ask me how I make my yarn balls, the way I make my yarn balls. So I found a floppy skein that I'm going to record me making a yarn ball so that you guys know how I make my yarn balls. <laughs> but uh, that'll come out tomorrow, January 2nd. I was going to do it on the 3rd, but then I realized it was a Sunday. So, because uh, I was going to do Happy Mo video on the 2nd. But it's Sunday, so the post office is closed. I can't go get the Happy Mo that's there. <laughs> so I have to wait till um, Monday. Anyways, <laughs> y'all need to know everything. I'm going to hop off here and record this video, and I'll see you guys in another video eventually. Um, I'm imagining my videos will slow down now because I'm getting to the tail end of the pregnancy. But I still, I already have a whole bunch planned for January. I do that. I always plan ahead. <laughs> um, and then I end up moving them around, you know. And uh, we'll see. But I already have like five national holiday videos picked out for January. So that'll be fun. And yeah, I'm going to hop off here now because I'm, I'm just talking. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in another video whenever it comes out. I hope you guys are already having a good 2022. Ours is good. Uh, but we've been home all morning. So, <laughs> but um, we had a good night. We toasted around 9 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> with our chocolate milk and we went to bed right after that because we don't stay up to midnight especially with Jesse um and for sure this next this next time I won't because I'm gonna have like a six-year-old plus by, by next New Year's she'll be like eight months nine months around there so yeah our New Year's is like 9 p.m. <laughs> but we still had a good time and we drank our chocolate milk and we said happy new year to each other and then we got ready and went to bed <laughs> But uh, anyways, I'm leaving now for sure. <laughs> I promise. But I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.